My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. We are on page number 92. Please turn to it. Page number 92. And today is our lesson number 149. 149. And we're going to talk about today the concept of area of a rectangle. We started this geometry part two or three days ago, and as we discussed before, these are very simple, very elementary, very rudimentary, very fundamental concepts for geometry that you should know by heart. They expect you to know these concepts by heart, and you will find all of these concepts that you are expected to know for the exam on page 92 and 93. That's where we are. We are doing the geometry, page 92 and 93, and I believe after that, the only other topic that is left, this, this is the penultimate topic, the geometry right now that we're doing. Happens to be the penultimate topic in the math portion. And after that, the very last topic that we have in the book has to do with conversion, units of measurement, converting conversion from metric system to the English system and, and vice versa, from English system to metric system or if you like, English system is also known as imperial system from imperial system to the metric system and metric to imperial back and forth the units of measurement as I said on page 94 and 95 and that is the very last topic before the before the quiz that begins on page 99 which we are also going to do the quiz but today as I said we are on the penultimate topic penultimate as you gathered from the context is just a very fancy way of saying very fancy way of saying second to the last a word I believe we learned on page on, on day number 27 if I'm not mistaken penultimate page for day number 11 not 27 that is just as well because had it been day 27 then I would have run immediately to a doctor and he probably would have prescribed to me a life because I would have needed a life I do I did not remember the day that means there is a hope I may have I must have little life Nobody can say that I need a life. It's not day 27, day number 11. Do you understand? If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary words, day 11, watch that video and you will learn the word penultimate along with some other words. There is no reason why you should not want to improve your vocabulary. Vocabulary is very important. The moment you open your mouth, the moment you start speaking, people begin to judge. And one of the things that they use one of the criteria they use is the vocabulary, the other one is the grammar, the command of the language, all of these are things that are important, along with all the other superficial things, just as, for example, the way you dress and so forth. Do you understand? But vocabulary is very important. Anyway, back to our work. Area for rectangle. I live in a town where my town happens to be, my town happens to be, Rectangular shape, it will be hyphenated, rectangular shape. The shape of my town is a rectangle, a rectangle. It looks something like this. From this end of my town, let's call it point A, to this end of my town, let's call it point B, is 16 kilometers. Is 16 kilometers. And from point this end of the town to this end of the town, I'm telling you, is 80 kilometers. And since this is a rectangle, if this is 16, this is also 16, this is 80, this is also 80. And I want to find out what is the area of my town. Let's find out, shall we? Area is no, as the area as we know, or area of a rectangle, everybody knows, area of the rectangle is simply length times width, nothing to it. The length here is 80 kilometers. 80 kilometers. And the width is 16 kilometers. So first we have to multiply 80 times 16, 80 times 16, whatever that happens to be, 80 times 16, and then, this is the important part, and then we have to square our units. I'm not going to worry about what 18 times 16 is, that's not the point here, the point here is this, you must square the units, kilometers times the kilometers, which is the same as 
kilometer squared. So however that works out to be, that's how many kilometers I have here. The, town, the area of my town is, let's find out what 16 times 80 is. 16 times 80, that's just a zero. 8, 6 of 48, 8, carry 4. 8, 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12. Approximately 1300, approximately 1280 if you like. Approximately 1300, 1300 what? It must have a unit. 1300 hippos, cows, monkeys or bananas. 1300 kilometers squared, kilometers squared. We talked about it yesterday. Area is two dimensional. Area, area, area of anything. Area of anything, area is a dimensional. Area is a two dimensional concept. The units, the unit must be squared. If you're measuring in feet, it would have been feet times feet it would have been feet squared. If we were measuring in meters, instead of kilometers, if you had meters, it would have been meters squared. If you were measuring in 16 inches and 80 inches, it would have been inches squared or miles squared or in this case, kilometers squared or centimeters squared if you like. Whatever it is that you're using, Whatever it is that you're using for the unit of measurement, for your length, that unit must be squared. The area of my town is about 1300 squared kilometers. 1300 squared kilometers or 30, 1300 kilometers squared. We also had that discussion yesterday as to why we read this area. But if somebody asks you what's the area of your house, you might tell them it's 2000 square feet. 2000 square feet actually should be read as 2,000 feet squared. If you try, if you want to understand the difference between the two, two, two terminologies, watch yesterday's videos. You mustn't skip the videos, watch them in the proper sequence. We had the discussion yesterday, I'm not going to go over it again. So what's the area of my town? It's about 1,300 square, square kilometers or kilometers squared. What do you suppose it is going to be in miles? How much is that going to be in miles? What if you were asked to express this, this, the, we are given the, this is what we're given here. We are told that the distance from A to B is 16 kilometers, and we are told that it's a rectangle. We are told that it is a rectangle, and we are told that B to C is 80 kilometers. And the question is, what is the area of this this town in squared miles? In in miles squared or squared miles? They're giving us the dimensions in kilometers, but they want the areas in miles squared or squared miles. How do we go about it? That's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to learn on the next two pages. On page number, on page number 94 and 95, where it says convert within and between the standard and metric system. By standard, I mean the English system, the, the imperial system, and the metric system. You have to be able to convert these units back and forth from one to the other because unfortunately in the US we use both in most of the rest of the world the world has moved on Every, everywhere in the world they use only the metric system you don't have to worry about the miles and feet and ounces and, and so forth but in the US we use the imperial system in our everyday life but in the scientific fields we use the metric system it has both so if you're going to go in nursing you, might, you, you may have to convert one from the other do you understand? If the, dosage, if the dosage for the patients are expressed in terms of milliliter or milligram and the weight is expressed in terms of pound, well you have to be able to convert this pound that it says in the bag into grams. Do you understand? So we have to, enough of the talk. Let's, let's answer this question. What's the area of this town measured in squared miles? Let's do it from the top. We already know it's about 1300 square or squared miles. Squared kilometers. What does it work out to be in square miles? I wonder. Well the starting point is, is knowing the starting point is to know is knowing your conversion factor. How many miles make a kilometer 
or how many kilometers make a mile that you have to know. If you don't know that by heart, you're done. You have to memorize this thing. So I'm telling you right now, I'm going to tell you that one mile, one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers. This part we have to know. There is no other way around. One part is 1.6 kilometers. If one, if, if one mile is approximately 1.6 kilometers, watch what happens. Watch what happens. It's an equation. Even though it says approximately, but it is an equation. And since it's an equation, we can do anything to the equation that we want as long as we do the same exact thing to both sides. If we treat both sides in the same manner, it will still be the same old equation. It will not change. So let's multiply both sides of this equation by 10. Ten times one is just ten, so ten miles should approximately equal whatever one point six times ten is. One point six times ten is sixteen kilometers. There we go. There we go. Okay, keep watching. Now instead of instead of multiplying it by ten, instead of multiplying it by ten, we could have multiplied both sides by one hundred. If we had done both sides by one hundred, then hundred times one is one hundred miles would be approximately 1.6 times 100. 1.6 times 100 would be 160 kilometers. Are you with me? Stay with me, okay? It's very important that you stay with me. Well, first part we already have. We were told that this is 16 kilometers. But 16 kilometers is right here. 16 kilometers is 10 miles. So this side, which is measured in 16 kilometers, is same as 10 miles. Let's put it in a different color. This side, 16 kilometers, is 10 miles. Now we have to worry about this side, 80 kilometers. Well, we already know right here, we just figured out, we just figured out that if one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers, what I'm trying to make you understand is that you don't have to memorize everything, just the, just the starting factor. If you know that one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers, Multiply both sides by 10 and you find out that 10 miles equals approximately 16 kilometers. And we know what 10 miles is because we drive every day. We know exactly how far 10 miles is. So if you're driving about 10 miles, that's about 16 kilometers. If you're driving 100 miles, multiply both sides by 100. And 100 miles is approximately 160 kilometers. So if you did not know, if you had no idea, if you could not visualize, if you could not conceptualize how far it is when somebody tells you that I live about 300 kilometers away, but well, 300 kilometers away is about 320 kilometers away. 320 kilometers is 2 times 160. So 320 kilometers is about 200 miles, or 300 kilometers is about 200 miles. You don't have to be so precise. So now we know that 160 kilometers is 100 miles. We don't have 160 kilometers, we have only 80 kilometers. Let's, let's rewrite this thing in the form of the equation right here so that I can do what I have to do next. Because if I do it here, you're going to get confused. So 100 miles, 100 miles, we just learned, is approximately 160 kilometers. But we don't want 160 kilometers, we only want, we only want 80 kilometers. Well, 80 is just half of 160. Divide both sides by 2. If you divide both sides by 2, now 160 divided by 2 is 80 kilometers. And voila, we know what 80 kilometers is approximately. 80 kilometers is going to be 50 miles. 100 divided by 2 is 50. It's 50 miles. This thing is 50 miles. Now we are ready to figure out our area in squared miles. Now we are ready to figure out our area in squared miles. We can do it right here. So this, the length is 50 miles. Length times width. The length we know is 50 miles. Width we know is 10 miles. Isn't that nice? Area of my town is about 500 square miles. Now why do I say about? Why do we say approximately? Why is it approximately? 500 times 10 is exactly 500. Why am I saying approximately? Because here, I'm, I'm not... This, this, this quantity does not say that 5... This quantity does not say that 50 times 10 is approximately 500. That's not what it says. This quantity represents the area of my town. 
area of my town is approximately 500 square kilometers, 500 square miles, because one mile is not exactly 1.6 kilometers. It's approximately 1.6 kilometers. That's where the approximation comes in. So the area of my town was exactly what it was that we calculated a while ago in terms of square kilometers. That was an exact figure. But when we do it in mileage, when we convert 10 miles, 10 miles is, it should not say exactly, you see, it's a, it's a good thing I caught myself, 10 miles is approximately 16 kilometers. And 80 kilometers is approximately 50 miles. So area of my town is about 50, 500 square miles. 500 square miles. In other words, if my town happened to be only, the width of my town happens to be only one mile, then it would have been 500 miles long, because one mile times 500 miles would have been 500 square miles. Did you understand? See you tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, we will continue. We'll continue with the geometry. We'll do the two problems that you see on page 92 and the second half of page 92, where they're asking you to find the perimeter of the two fixtures there. And then the following day, we'll do the formulas that you see on the top of the page 90, 93 and the backtrace problems. And then we'll be done with geometry and we'll move on to the conversions. Convergence of the units, measure, uh, un me measurements of units they call it. Okay? I know.